GetRightCoach.com. Every little step is critical for success. So look at this case. During the corneal transplant, the scissor tip poked the iris, and the patient ends up getting a traumatic cataract. So we'll speed up through this video. This is an anonymous resident who's operating doing a corneal transplantation, a full thickness transplantation. You see there's the Flutinga ring. There is marking off the approximate size here for the trephination. That looks pretty good. And our residents are able to do corneal transplants as residents at our teaching hospital. And that's always a good thing. So here the trephination has been done and then gently going inside here. This is where viscoelastic is your friend. There you go. And now using the corneal scissors to cut around that little last bit. And this is a very reasonable technique. I was not the attending for this case. It was someone else. But watch carefully what happens here. As the resident's going around here, maybe not enough viscoelastic in the eye, look carefully, making a little snip here. Okay, so far so good. And then going for that correct curvature. Right, here's more viscoelastic. We've obviously slowed down the video so we can see what's going on now. And so injecting plenty of viscoelastic. So in addition to viscoelastic being cheaper than vitreous, it's also cheaper than causing a traumatic cataract or damaging the iris. So again, holding the fluorine ring to stabilize the eye and cutting across and watch the scissor tips because this is where we're going to have an issue. There, look, it's poking into the iris. Resident's not quite aware of that and making a cut. And okay, that looks pretty good, you think. But then you still don't even realize that, wait a minute, there's a hole in the iris there. And if you made this hole in the iris, how deep do those tips of your scissors go? So this is why I say every little step in surgery counts. The rest of the surgery can be perfect. And you can have a fantastic suturing technique and perfectly sealed up incision and zero astigmatism like a dream. But your scissor tips poked the iris. And then what happens? So now you cause a traumatic cataract. Now, it's not the end of the world. You let the transplant heal up and you'll take the patient back to the OR in, you know, in the future and do the cataract surgery. But the tough part is, look at that, look at that scissor tip poking the iris. Look at that hole in the iris right there. There's already a hole in the iris. There. See the hole in the iris? That wasn't there at the beginning of the case. And if that scissor tip poked through the iris like this, guess what? It also poked through the anterior lens capsule. Now, you're not going to get an instant cataract. You're not going to realize it. So the resident's hopeful that nothing happened, and so trying to complete the case here. But, of course, when you violate that lens capsule and you expose those lens crystallins and lens proteins to the aqueous of the eye, well, it's going to get a complete cataract. It's going to be a white cataract. Now, this patient's about somewhere in this age 60 and had, uh, obviously, a central corneal scar here, and that's the reason for the transplant. Um, this may have been an ulcer in the past that, was, that even penetrated fully, and as a result, uh, a DALK procedure was not advised, so a full thickness procedure being performed here. And again, the rest of the case goes beautifully. This resident does a fantastic job. There you go, cornea off. Now, there's luckily a little bit of cataract to begin with because the patient is 60-plus years old. But again, that damage to the iris. Here's the end of the case. You're saying, wow, it's pretty. Look at that. Nice suture and good job, resident. The graph looks like it's in good position. All the sutures look fantastic. And this was a nice outcome in terms of the cornea. And you'll see in the post-op period, which I'll show you the post-op pics, the cornea healed up beautifully. The incisions were, the, the, the whole transplant's totally sealed up, no leakage. And even the patient didn't have a whole lot of astigmatism, only a couple diopters. So pretty reasonable. Here's the post-op. So it looks good on the suturing, but look at the pupil now. It's a white cataract. And there's that iris hole that was iatrogenic. So now what are you gonna do? So let's zoom in a little bit more, get some higher mag to show you that again. There it is, that's where the scissor tip, unfortunately, poked the iris, and then also punctured the lens capsule. So here, one more picture showing you the white cataract, and the patient will go back to the OR. So our take home lesson is, is what? Every little step counts in surgery. Ocular surgery is very unforgiving. 
And that's why I always encourage you to hold yourself to a higher standard and be your own toughest critic and learn from every case. The difference between a mistake and a lesson, you may not learn from the mistake, but you'll learn from the lesson. So if a complication happens, consider it a lesson, you will learn from it and you'll improve those skills. And if you're really brilliant, learn from other people's complications and learn from these videos. Thanks for watching.